we're gonna talk about the cost to raise a pig to market weight. Caught you again, they moved into the cow shed. So these are Tamworths and then the white face ones like that one right there is a Tamworth Hereford Cross. If you were to buy one of these heritage breeds, this time of year you can probably get them for around $75 to $100. In the springtime, they would run maybe $100, $150 a piece. Now these were farrowed on the farm, so we didn't have to pay for them, but we did pay for the mothers and the, and the boar to maintain. So that price kind of somewhat offsets. But to feed one of these pigs to market weight in about six, seven months, with uh, the feed price being around $360 a ton, I am estimating it cost me about $250 per piglet to raise to market weight. Now that doesn't count the water, the bedding, straw, or my wood chips. I get a big trailer load of wood chips for 50 bucks a piece and I'll go through a trailer load, I don't know, once every two months or so. Maybe three, depending on the time of year and how muddy it is. So I figure, really, realistically, it probably cost me about $300 per pig. So at the end of this video, I'll sh show you a breakdown of the processing fees and what that costs for a whole pig with a hanging weight of 200 pounds. You can find whole ho hogs marketed, in my opinion, way undervalued at about $300 for a 200 pound pig then you pay processing but uh, those farmers have to be losing money at some end or uh, making money at some end of their operation but definitely I would think losing money on their piglet or uh, hog raising now they're probably ra growing their own food and things like that grinding their own mixes and whatnot but you have to have the land and the machinery to do that so it's kind of like the should you buy hay or grow your own hay question grow your own hay you have the property tax land payment equipment payments whereas if you buy in hay then you're just paying for hay which is what we do we don't have the land to grow our own hay So at the end of this video, I'll also do a taste test of Mangalitsa sausage versus Tamworth sausage. And we'll do some more of those comparisons with pork chops and bacon and, and whatnot. So just a quick overview of what it costs us to raise a pig to market weight at around 200 pounds hanging weight. All right, so I just picked up some of our mangalitsa pork from the processing facility. I'm just taking inventory here from a pig that had a hanging weight of 200 pounds. We got uh, 24 pounds of bacon, 6 pounds of jowl bacon, 20 pounds of lynx, 18 pounds of bulk sausage, and then we got all the pork steaks and pork chops here. So that's off of one, one hog here. You got spare ribs, pork steaks, lard, hams. So we got boneless ham, ham hocks, and Ebel's bacon. Bacon and ham is really, really good. And these mangalitsa pork chops look delicious. 
nice fat layer on them. So you get uh, one, two, three, well, six boxes on a whole pig. And I paid $272.93 for the processing. So you pay extra for the smoking. It was $67 for the smoking, the hams, the bacon. Oh, we had this is maple bacon, so it's an extra charge of seven dollars and fifty cents. Sausage links, you get uh, looks like it's two dollars a pound, just about so about forty dollars to have the links made. There's a slaughter charge, and then there's the overall charge for the 200 pound hanging weight. And then this stack here, this is a half. Hog. We had uh, bulk sausage and then ground pork and two pound packages. Some more hams and more bacon. So just kind of gives you an idea of what you're getting when you order a whole hog for uh, from us. Four boxes for a half hog, and then well, six boxes for a whole hog, and it all depends on what you want done. But uh, the processing fee for the half is 136 pounds for the half, and that was 147 dollars for that. So get quite a bit of meat for the quality and uh, the price of what you're paying. You just need the freezer space. So this is an Excel sheet that I came up with here to kind of break down the cost to raise the pig. Hopefully you can see this okay. But uh, we charge $3 a pound hanging weight. So for a 200 pound hanging weight pig, the buyer pays the farm $600. With that, you get about 160, or sorry, 120 to 140 pounds yield off of that in cuts. So on average, you get about 60 to 70% yield uh, from a, a pig carcass. And this is an example of a 200 pound pig processed at Ebel's. They charge 54 cents a pound, which is $108. There's a slaughter charge and environmental charge of 40 and $10. We had 20 pounds of sausage links made up. So that was 39.80. Smoking is an extra $1.25 a pound, which is 67.63. And then maple flavor, bacon, an extra charge of seven dollars and fifty cents so the total processing was two hundred and seventy two dollars and ninety three cents if you were to buy that pig from us the total invoice would be eight hundred and seventy two dollars and ninety three cents so that averages out to about seven dollars and twenty seven cents assuming at the low end 120 pound yield so overall, I mean, that's your bacon, your sausage. I think we had 24 pounds of, well, more than that, 24 packages of bacon. Some of the packages are a pound and a half, almost two pound packages. Uh, we had the 20 pounds of links. I think there was 18 pounds of bulk sausage. And then you have another, you know, 60, 70 pounds of pork chops and butt roasts and things like that. So overall, I think $7.27 at the low end, that's pretty, pretty good for all that, all that meat. All right, so we're going to do a sausage taste off. <clears throat> Got Mangalitsa here on the left and Tamworth on the right. So Mangalitsa is, definitely has more fat in it. Had both of them individually, they're both delicious. We're gonna do a side by side taste off. Okay, we have 
and B. Everybody take a piece of A. Good. When you're done with that, you can have a piece of B. Which one's better? A. A. That's for me. Really? Tastes the same. They taste the same? I like the flavor better of A, and the texture of B seems like it's softer. And a is drier. I think it's more moist on my tongue. Oh, really? All right, so what's, what what do you think A is? I was sick like it's a Tamworth. A is Tamworth. Three yeah. days ago, I was sick. I was yeah, like I two days ago. Beginning before I even B is the Mangalitsa. Like I've noticed the Tamworth fat renders out very quickly. That's why it's not moist. It's much moisture. Mm -hmm. It's not you know. But they're both delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I do have to say the Mangalitsa is better. You like you like this one better? So the kids like the Tamworth better. I mean, I like, I like the Mangalitsa. I like the Mangalitsa better, but not enough to want to raise Mangalitsas again. Right. The, <laughs> the cost to raise the Mangalitsa is way, way higher oh, than it is for Tamworth. Yeah. Well, we could just buy some of our, some of the piglets, some of the girl piglets that we sold. The big lift to pay for me.